Yes, so today I'll be unboxing three different types of speakers and testing the sound quality to make sure that it's worth it if you decide to buy it. So I have these Fender speakers. I have the K12, the QSE K12. Then I have the Bose speaker. So I'll test all of these three speakers to see if, you know, which one is worth really buying and which one is the best for what event, okay? The Fender Passport Venue is one of the most powerful speakers that you would ever buy in your entire life because it allows you to do multiple of things that you wouldn't ordinarily be able to do with a system of this magnitude. It has many different effects. As you could see, this is the outside of the box that I'm showing you so that you could get a little take on what exactly it's going on here. So this is the Fender Passport venue. And as you could see, there's a lot of cool specs on this. I'm, you see, you have the master control, you have a USB core that you could input, you have a reverb selection. Um, there's a whole list of volumes that you could turn up and down. You see, it's almost a nine channel mixer. Oh, as we as you see it has the volume on top the treble the bass you have reverb and as you see here you have different pads okay you could turn on phantom powers for the microphone you have a multiple of inputs that you could use to put in a guitar you have a stereo input um, for a quarter inch jack you also have a left and right input for a one eight jack left and right input those jacks at the bottom are quarter inch okay so you could put in left and right input um, for both channels and then you could put in the one eight jacks that's like for your headphones for those people who don't know all right so let's do a, a wide angle shot and as you could see this is the fender passport venue one of the coolest features on the fender passport venue is the ability to record on your usb Three, while speaking one two. one two testing one two testing one two one two one two when recording make sure you use standard ms dos usb flash drive format the x fat would not work. NTSF might work, but standard XFAT format. The Bose L1 Compact is a whole different beast. This speaker system is very small, it's extremely compact, and it packs a mean punch. It's very simple, you know, it has a top connection and also to a bottom connection. And there's not a whole lot of complications to using it. What Bose did so masterfully is that they gave you a wonderful diagram that shows you where all the input goes into. You have your microphone, you have your CD, DVD, your guitar, your MP3 players, and it gives you a very easy setup manual so there's not a lot of complications once you're finished setting it up there is also a small compact bag that holds the top extension of the speakers so the l1 is extremely compact now the qsc k12 is a whole nother beast this is a compact full range powered speakers Inside the box is not a whole lot. All you have is just the speaker itself, which 
is a little heavy, 40 pounds, but for the old school DJs who have been lifting QSC equipment, 40 pounds is not much. So all that comes with the QSC K12 is just a power supply and the actual powerhouse, which we call the K12 full range speaker. This thing is a monster. Wait until you hear its sound quality. In the back of the K12, as you could see, there's different knobs. It takes XLR, it takes quarter inch jack, it takes RCA in, and there's also a out for other K12 speakers. So this is just a quick overview of what the back of the QSC K12 Powerhouse full range speaker looks like. Now that I'm finished with my overview of these three speakers, now I will do my vocal test of those three speakers. Here is a test of the K12. One, two. So, testing one, two. Checking out the K12 to see how it sounds on the vocals. And it sounds uh, pretty clean. You just have to make sure that you set up the EQ right. One, two. Testing, one, two. Audio check, one, two. Now I will test the Bose L1 compact speaker for vocals. Testing, one, two. So we're looking at the Bose power speaker. Testing one, two, and you get a much cleaner audio in terms of vocals with the Bose, much cleaner. Now it is time to check the Fender Passport venue on vocals. Testing one, two, with the Fender Passport venue. You have a whole bunch of things that you could do, EQ and everything. Much cleaner sound compared to the K12 in terms of vocals. One, two, one, two. Now it's time to check these speakers in terms of their ability when playing music. Here is the Passport venue. So now we'll be testing the Bose power speaker to see how it plays music. Now it is time to test the QSC K12 powered speaker when it comes to playing sweet music. Drum roll, please. And the winner is the... In terms of speakers, I would recommend the K12 for outdoor performance. For musical performance, it's better, it's better for a DJ. In terms of audio quality, if you're a singer and you're looking for audio quality, and crispness of the microphone, crispness of the volume for your performance, I would recommend the Bose. But the Fender Passport Venue is a special breed. 
it's able to combine both power, bass, um, vocals. You're able to EQ and also too, it packs a powerful punch. Okay, so what I would say, if you need something right away and you need a complete package, okay, you need a complete package, I would go with the Fender Passport venue because you get both a powerful speaker system and you also get a controller EQ that you're able to control your microphone, you're able to control your bass, your highs, your mids, and on top of that too, you're able to record your event. You're able to record whether it is your, that you're singing, whether it is that you're mixing music, whether is it that you're having a speaking engagement. So I would thoroughly recommend the Passport venue over all three of this microphone over all three of these systems but again i must stress that if you're looking okay for a outdoor venue and you want a powerful punch you want something that is that gun that's going to give you that power that 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 pizzazz that strength that energy that fullness that liveliness of your music especially for dj it is imperative that you stick with the k12 okay if you are a singer and you do small gigs and you do you know indoor events the bose speaker is the best system that you could get because you get crispness on the vocals okay and you get something that you're able to plug in your ipod and you're able to do many different stuff but again i must reiterate that the passport venue is the gap that gives you both power okay and control of your performance okay so i would recommend the passport venue above all of them but for loudness and power and everything else the K12. Well, right? well, this is, this is your boy, DJ Troy. Thank you running. very much for watching this video. Thank you for all your support.